ways that you can move. You can jump or skip or hop. Or you can run so very fast that it's difficult to stop. You can forward roll or ride a bike or twirl like a spinning top. Or you can be like Teddy, who can move with a simple pop. Or you could take the story train. Let's join driver Dan right now. All aboard! Hello everyone! Hello Dan! Which of our friends are we going to see? Which of our friends do you think it will be? Climb aboard and travel with me All aboard the story train yeah. Yeah. All aboard the story train! Hello everyone. Today is a really special day. It's going to be full of surprises. Oh, have you spotted something, Twinkle? Can you see what it is? Is it our first surprise? I love surprises. I can see Loopy's carriage. Oh, and Bippity Slashers too. And the room. There's Hip and Hop. Sweetie's carriage. The Counting Sheep's carriage. That is a surprise. Haha, <laughs> you found today's first surprise. I've asked everyone to meet us. Are you coming too? Yes, please, Drive Dad. Then let's go. Hmm, where has everyone gone? Surprise! <laughs> did we surprise you, Driver Dad? Ah, yes, you certainly did, precious. <laughs> now I have a surprise for all of you. A surprise for us? Bip, bip, what is it? Well, let me give you a clue. <laughs> I love clues. Well, this is a special clue because it's going to be in a story. A story with a clue? That sounds fun. Let's go to Story Corner. Hold on, I've another surprise for you. Look, we can walk to Story Corner. It isn't far. Brilliant! Race you! Wait for me, Hip! And me! <laughs> Let's see. Aha! I know just the book. Hurry up, Twinkle, or they'll be there before you. <laughs> Twinkle won the race! Bippity bip. Well done, Twinkle. Now, is everybody ready? Ready for our story, Driver Dan. I wonder what the clue will be. And all of you. Sitting down comfy and ready to listen. Ready, Driver Dan. This story is called A Trip to the Beach. It was written by Kais Elias and the pictures are by Hassan El Manasra. Hooray! Hooray! We're off to the beach today, yelled Horace and Doris as baby Boris gurgled happily. But just as they were about to leave, Dad shouted out, Stop! Has anyone seen my glasses? Oh, no. Dad needs his glasses for driving, cried Doris. We'd better find them, fast, said Horace. Gah, cooed baby Boris. So they set about looking as fast as they could. They searched high and they searched low. Aha, what was that at the back of the cupboard? Oh, just a spotty old umbrella and a tatty old hat. What use are these, laughed Doris. Where are those glasses, cried Horace. Goo goo gah, cooed baby Boris, waving. They searched here and they searched there. Oh, what was that peeking out from under the bed? Oh, just a dusty old slipper. This is no good, shrugged Doris. Where, oh, where are those glasses? said Horace. Goo, 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 ga! gurgled baby Boris, pointing. They searched on top and they searched underneath. Aha, what was that right down the back of the sofa? Oh, just a very silly pair of Dad's old pyjamas. These are no use to anyone, giggled Doris and Horace. And wherever are Dad's glasses? Goo 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 ga! spluttered baby Boris, pointing. Oh, where are those glasses? Mum looked at Horace. Horace looked at Doris. Doris looked at baby Boris, who just gurgled and pointed at Dad. Goo goo da da! 
And there, peeking out from beneath Dad's hat, were the missing glasses. Dad had been wearing them all along. Whoops, said Dad, going a bit red, while the rest of the family laughed and laughed. Well done, Boris! Hooray! Hooray! We're off to the beach today, yelled Horace and Doris. And off they went on their trip at last. <laughs> the end. Did you enjoy that story? Yes. Clever baby Boris finding Dad's glasses. But what was the clue about our surprise driver, Dan? Oh, yes! Is our surprise about, um, finding things? No, that's not it, Loopy. Oh, I know. <laughs> Is it about going somewhere on a trip? Well done, <laughs> Precious. The surprise is we're all going on a trip to <laughs> Swirly Curly Hill. <laughs> I've never been there before. Me neither. Can we go now? Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Slow down, Loopy. I know you're all excited, but we need to get everything ready to go on our special trip. Yes! Yes! Which of our things shall we take on our trip? Which of our things are we going to pick? Hurry back and get ready quick Before we board the story train We're going to take some sandwiches and fruit We're going to make decorations that look great Come along on a trip with us A trip on board the story train Some cushions to die. We're going to find some games to play. Come along on a trip with us. A trip on board the story train. <laughs> Are you going to help the others to get ready, Loopy? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, but I don't know who to help. Why don't you help everyone in turn? In turn? Great idea, Driver Dan. Thanks. Haha, <laughs> yes, Loopy the super helpful dinosaur. Eh, uh, are you going somewhere, Driver Dan? Yes, I need to collect something very special for the trip. It's another surprise. Another surprise? What is it? It wouldn't be a surprise if I told you, would it, Loopy? Eh, uh, no, suppose not. Are we ready, Twinkle? See you soon. Bye, Driver Dan. Right, help everyone in turn. I am Loopy the Super Helpful Dinosaur. <laughs> Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. What are you doing? We're painting a lovely colourful banner with pictures of all our friends. Oh, well, there's loads of painting to do. Wait, I'll help you. There, the paints are closer so you can paint more quickly. <laughs> what a clever idea. Thank you, Lopey. Oh, please hurry, so we can go on the trip. We will. <laughs> right, whose turn is it for Loopy the super helpful dinosaur to help next? <laughs> Need some help? Yes, please, Loopy. We can't reach the fruit, and we need it for the trip. No problem. I'll bounce up and get it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that worked. Hey, I know. <laughs> Brilliant! Cheapy steps. Now we can reach the apples. Hey, quick, so we'll be ready for the trip. We will. Thanks for helping, Loopy. No problem. I'm Loopy the Super Helpful Dinosaur. Whose turn is it for me to help next? <laughs> <laughs> Do you need any help? Hi, Loopy. We can't decide what game to play at Swirly Curly Hill. Hoopla or football? Oh, let's play football. Then everyone can play it together. Good idea. Ah, now we just have to decide which ball to take. Oh, please hurry, Cholula. We won't be ready for the trip. OK, Loopy. <laughs> Do you need any help? 
<laughs> Cushion making all under control, thanks, Libby. We'll all have something to sit on. <laughs> oh, but it's so slow. Maybe it'll be faster if I press buttons too. Oh, no, don't be, be careful. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh dear. <gasps> What's happening? It. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 what's happened here? Oh, no. Sorry, driver Dan. I, I, I was trying to help everyone hurry up so we could go on the trip sooner, but it all went wrong and. Oh, sorry. It's not your fault, Loopy. We wanted to go as fast as we could, too. Yeah, we couldn't wait to go on the trip either. Don't worry, everyone. Let's work together to clear this up. Then we'll be ready to go in no time. <laughs> Let's get busy. We've got all the fruit. The banner's finished. Oh, it's beautiful. The cushions are packed. There's a game to play. All aboard! The Story Train! Well done, everyone. We're all hooked up. Are you ready, too? Then let's go! All aboard the Story Train! Let's go, Drive Dan! I think this is the biggest, most special trip we've ever had on the story train, don't you? The biggest ever, Driver Dan. All our friends are on board. That's right, and I know a song about our friends. Would you like to hear it? Yes, please. OK, it's a song with lots of actions, so you can join in if you like. Just move like our story train friends do. Here we go. This is Loopy. He's big and green. He likes to bounce on his trampoline. He bounces up. He bounces down. Let's all bounce round and round. Bounce and bounce. Bounce like me. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy me. Bounce like a dinosaur. Bounce like me. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy me. Millie and Lily are tall and pink. They like to dance. They love to spin. They twirl around and take a bow. Let's twirl and dance like they are now. Spin and twirl and dance like us. Twirl, twirl, twirly, twirl. Dance and spin and twirl like us. Twirly, whirly, twirl and whirl. The brooms do love to zoom around. They make a brilliant brooming sound. Racing fast, they make you laugh. Go race with them, but don't come last. Ha ha! Pippity the robot shines so blue He likes to dance, can you dance too? Dance like Pippity with a robot sound Bip, bip, Pippity dancing around Pippity, bip, do the robot dance Move like Pippity, here's your chance Bip, bip, Pippity, can you see? Pippity, bip, you can dance like me <laughs> Aha, that was great! Well done, everyone. You were really good at copying the actions. Oh, I think Twinkle's seen something. It's Swirly Curly Hill. Oh. Oh, it's amazing. Look at that. Ready to ride to the top? Yes! OK, here we go. <laughs> Dan, oh, we're slowing down. Oh dear, you're right, Hip. I'm not sure if the story train has enough power to pull this many carriages up such a steep high hill. Will we make it? We'll try. Oh no, Bip Bip, we're stuck. Stuck? What are we going to do? Don't worry, everyone. Stay in your carriages. I'll think of something. Hmm. I know. The Fixatron. I can use it to give the story train more power. Now let's see. Wow, look at that. A 
and off we go. It's working. Fixed by the Fixatron. You did it, Driver Van. The story train is moving again. Yes, all aboard the Fixatron fast story train. <laughs> Here we are. Everything's ready, Driver Dan. Well, not quite everything. Huh? Oh, what's that? It's another surprise. A big surprise. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> a tent? That's right. A tent. Because we're having a sleepover. Oh. <laughs> a sleepover, Driver Dan? A sleepover is when you get to sleep away from your home with your friends, sweetie. Oh, Driver Dan, what do you think? That looks great. <laughs> well done, everyone. Now then, who wants a game of football before we eat? Oh, oh yes! yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, hi! That was a great game of football. Would anyone like a sandwich? Yes, please. I do like my picture. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's been a brilliant trip, Driver Dad. Yes, it has. But it's getting late now. So would everyone like a special bedtime story? Oh, yes, yes, please. <laughs> and all of you, would you like to hear a bedtime story too? Yes, please, Driver Dan. Good. I know just the book. This is a story called The Very Noisy Night. The words are by Andrew Bertley, and the pictures are by Leah Ellen Hemming. The day was done and the sun had set, but the palace could not go to sleep just yet. For no matter what the king or queen said, young Prince Nazim would not go to bed. Send for the clowns! They came wiggling and jiggling, cracking their jokes, laughing and giggling, then in jumped the monkeys, leaping and springing from bedposts to chairs, dangling and swinging. Prince Nazim laughed, but then shook his head. I still don't feel like going to bed. Oh, no. no. Send for the drummers. They marched in a line, banging and beating their drums in quick time. The monkeys still jumped, the clowns juggled toys, the room shook with acrobatics and noise. Prince Nazim clapped, but again shook his head. I still don't feel like going to bed. In came the band, trumpets are tooting, guitars are strumming, whistles are hooting. Then came snake charmers, eyes are whirling. Then came the dancers, skirts are twirling. Prince Nazim giggled, but once more shook his head. I still don't feel like going to bed. Send for magicians, send for musicians, send for physicians, mathematicians. The king and queen were at their wit's end. What can we do? Who else can we send? The bedroom was bursting, ready to pop, when above all the racket a voice shouted, Stop! <laughs> Princess Akila sighed. Such a hullabaloo! It's lucky for you, I know what to do. She stood at the door with a hand on her hip, then whispered, Shh! with a hand to her lip. She threw out the monkeys and charmers and clowns. The drummers and dancers crept out without sound. The princess stood firmly in front of the door, and at last the room was peaceful once more. She said, it's time to tidy and put things away, to clear up the mess of your busy day, to put on pajamas and then brush your teeth, to pull back the covers and curl up beneath. She then whispered softly in the still of the night, listen and look, and she turned out the light. Listen, hear the music from the tree nearby. That's the nightingale's sweet lullaby. She's singing to you with her loveliest song, hoping you'll drift off to sleep before long. See, there are the stars way up in the sky, and there is the moon, it's twinkling goodbye. Their magic, their sparkle, their beautiful glow shines down over all of us sleeping below. For it's time to rest now, dear brother Nazim. It's time to sleep. It's time to dream. And so the little prince slept, and the princess slept too, and the whole palace snored. Now, how about you?
the end. Did you enjoy that story? Oh, yes. Everybody took turns to try and help Prince Nazim go to sleep. I liked all the quiet things. Oh. And now it's your turn. Which bits did you like best? Come on, it's time for a special dressing up show me the story. I'm Prince Nazim, but I'm just not tired and I won't go to bed. No bedtime for me, no way. Prince Nazim, I'm the queen, you must go to bed. I am the king, you must go to bed. I'm not tired. We'd better send for the drummers. Drum, drum, drummity drum. Send for the band. Now, now, now. Really loud guitars. Play the trumpet for Prince Nazim. Da, da, da. But I still don't feel like going to bed. Watch me juggle, Prince Nazim. Wow, look, snake charmers too. No, I still don't feel like going to bed. There's a monkey doing the monkey dance. Great monkey dance. But I still don't feel like going to bed. Send for magicians. Send for musicians. Send for physicians. Mathematicians. Everyone is here. What a racket. Stop. Shh. Be off with you. It's time to sleep. It's time to dream. The whole palace is snoring. Now, how about you? Night, night, everyone. Well done. That was really good. I liked your special costumes. And you did some great actions there, especially the sleepy ones at the end. Ooh, they even made me feel tired. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed our special trip and that you'll come back and see us very soon because we all love stories. Night, night. Stories, noisy stories, quiet stories, but I love bedtime stories best of all. It's Monday the 28th of March and Kerry and I are here to have a look at some of your birthday cards. We certainly are. I've got one here for Abby who is five today. The Go-Jetters are excited and so are your mummy, daddy, your grandparents and all of your family and friends. Have a fantastic time turning five today. Rishikesh, it's your birthday today and we've got lots of our CBeebies friends here to help you celebrate your three today. Have a wonderful time. Sent with lots and lots of love on your special day from Dada, Mummy, your brother Harakesh, your grandparents, friends, and all of your family who hope that you have a brilliant time, and so do we. I've got a gorgeous card here for someone who's dressed up just like Lola. Charlie and Lola have come to wish Grace a very happy fourth birthday. Grace, your mum, dad, Harley, and all of your family and friends hope that you enjoy turning four too. Cluck, 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 cluck. Logan, it's your birthday today and you're on an underwater adventure with the Octonauts. What a lucky boy. You're four today. Captain Barnacles would love this birthday card. Have a magical time celebrating, sent with lots and lots of love from Mummy, Daddy and your baby sisters, Zoe and Charlotte. Our In The Night Garden friends are very excited. They're giving a big cheer because Mia is five years old today. Happy birthday to you, Mia, with lots of love and kisses from your mummy, daddy and all of your family and friends. They hope you have a truly wonderful day. Happy birthday. Jet, this is a top birthday card. You're celebrating with Bing and friends.